No, I don't have a problem being direct, John. I have a problem with a patient who's exhibiting as of yet undiagnosed symptoms and is being pressured by hospital politics at a time that his confidence is already shaken. You know, there's no plot here against Dr. Hughes. You seem to want to turn this into one of these good guys versus the bad guys thing. I suggest you take that someplace else. I have serious concerns about Dr. Hughes' abilities at this time. No, we all do. And part of it is being driven by our fear of lawsuits and preventing a financial crisis. I'm a little bit more sensitive about the welfare and the health of a patient. Now, if Dr. Hughes is not up to the game, then I have to know that. Not to take over, but to be sure that no patient is put in jeopardy by bad judgment. Bob's judgment hasn't been tested yet. Well, then I suggest you do your job and you let me do mine. I'll talk to you later. Hell there, it's kind of cocky. And you two should get along great. <laughs> yes, nobody is uh, questioning your motives, just your timing. I was having a few problems. It's not about you. Don't push so hard. It's not pretty. Dr. Dixon. Do you have a minute? Yeah, what is it? It's about my dad. Oh. I heard you've been asking the staff leading questions about him. Now listen, listen to me. I am not trying to undermine your father. I am not slandering him. I am trying to behave very professionally here. But I will not allow the future of this hospital to be jeopardized, even by your old man. Tell me something, doctor. Would you be taking such a hard line if you had just lost a patient and you were in his shoes? Believe it or not, young Dr. Hughes, I would be even harder on myself. Daddy, I don't want to fight about Aaron. No, your father's not going to argue with you about this. Are you, Craig? No. No, I'm not. But I have thought a lot about what we've all been through as a family. Lullaby, your mother and I agree that no matter how much we love you, we can't make all your decisions for you. So, if you really want to see, uh, you go ahead and see Aaron. It's... <laughs> Daddy, thank you. Thank you. I, I promise I'll keep my curfew and uh, I'll call you and let you know where I am and when I'll be home. And... Yes, that is right. All the rules still apply. I know. I know. And I'll work extra hard to catch up in school. And Aaron's even thinking about taking some courses. You don't need to prove uh. anything to your father. Aaron, you seem surprisingly quiet. I, I guess there are a few questions I just don't have answers to. Such as? Such as, why are you doing this now? I mean, do you really mean it this time, or is this some kind of an act? Carly wouldn't leave without Parker, or without telling Hal how to reach her in case of an emergency. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this your fantasy, Carly, or the one who cheated on you the night before your wedding? <laughs> well, Santa, we got over that. Why can't you? Carly was blindsided by that fashion show. She didn't steal anybody's designs. She sure as hell didn't kidnap Barbara Ryan. But she did get caught in the middle of it because of your husband. Well, where was this rousing defense at the police station, Jack? You were noticeably quiet then. Maybe you're the one that's feeling guilty. Now, I just promised Emma that I would plant some of her perennials. So if you have any more questions for me, you just call my lawyer. Everything all right? Was well, Anna could care less about what's happened to Carly. Jack, what makes you think something has happened? Oh, it's just a gut feeling. <laughs> Carly wouldn't. Carly wouldn't go too far away from her doctors right now. She's about to have that baby any day. No, no, she wouldn't risk anything to harm her baby. No, I don't think so. Not Carly. 
Come on now, Jack. Now, Roseanne and Carly might not be friends ever, but I do not believe that Rosanna would ever, ever harm her sister. How can you be so sure about that? It's a gut feeling. Were you here when she came home? Yes, yes, I was. She was really tired. She was exhausted. She was covered in mud. She slept in her car Did all Did she tell you how she got that scrape on her head? Yes, she bumped into some branch. Same story she gave me. But I'm not buying it. She's lying about last night, Emma. I think Rosanna knows more than she's telling me. Your dad is a model patient. <laughs> How soon before we get the results? Oh, well, hopefully within a week. And in the meantime? Business as usual. And to this point, uh, what's your professional opinion? Well, anytime you're talking about cognitive dysfunction or memory loss, the reasons could be one of many things. Including Alzheimer's. It may be years before you're symptomatic. I'm already symptomatic. We wouldn't be here. Honey, don't expect the worst. Well, Kim is right. You did very well on the cognitive tests. I wouldn't make any decisions now until we know exactly what's wrong with you. At this point, I wouldn't change anything, including your position here. Thanks, Rick. I'll call you when I get the results. Why don't I walk you to your office? Afraid I don't remember the way? <laughs> Wise guy. <laughs> How did it go? Well, uh, Dr. Decker said that he'll have the results uh, of the test in probably a week. Cognitive part went very well. He's advising Dad not to step down and to continue with business as usual. Mm -hmm. You think that's such a wise decision under the circumstances? I'll be extra cautious. I've got a consult with Ben in about an hour. Are you going to be there? Yeah, I cleared my schedule. Now listen, listen. I've got Dr. Hamilton covering for you. Well, I don't think Dad area. needs anything. It's okay, to Chris. I understand John's position perfectly. Well, I want to get back to my office uh, before I have that consult. Since when do you speak for Rose? She can't sort through things right now. But you can. I don't care what you or anyone else thinks. I care about her. <laughs> we saw how much you cared. Would you get it? She's confused. She's vulnerable. You being here just makes her feel even worse. I'll let her tell me that. I'm sure she will. Once she pulls herself together. She has her family here. I'm going to take care of her. Do me a favor. If she needs anything, have her call me. words that he said to me were they're gonna have to last me forever i know i gotta do something for him you know i gotta have like a nice memorial service something nice you know where his friends and his family can come and say nice story oh my god lily i didn't even think about will i mean how is that little guy gonna handle this without his big brother paul was so good to him how will help will and as far as the memorial service i think that's a great idea but i'm I'm sure the family will arrange something, Rose. What, family? Like, you mean Barbara Ryan family? Mm. No, I'm not going anywhere near that. It's something that I gotta do on my own. I owe it to Paul. Well, then we'll help any way we can. It has to be perfect. We don't have to discuss the details now. Why don't you just come home with us? No, I don't, I don't want to do that. Rose, you really, you really need to be with your family now. I know, but I'd really like to just be alone right now. I, I understand. I understand. See you later. <laughs> 